I, I still feel like the VP has the superior drive. I like, yeah, like VP's quite looks, a bit. It's very fast paced as well, and they have ways to abuse yeah. around the Roche pit. I, yeah, Alliances looks a little bit greedy here. If they reach late game, though. Stacks, so he's just got to retreat for now. Yeah, and save. Doing oh, a good hit job. by the flame break. This could actually be his death. It's so much damage over time. He's gone. He's just dead. Virtus Pro pick up the first blood, and Solo will give them a kill in return. He's just suiciding so he can reset. Definitely just straight up win you games based on the matchups as uh, that's a nice one for a Nico baby to grab. I mean, if you had higher levels of wards, then Limp could just do that jungling thing. They do manage to find the kill on a resolution here in the top lane. One to be able to see any heroes rotating in. Look where Solo just TP from. He just TP'd from next to his TA to try and get out of this tower and he's dead for it. Yeah, he certainly is because Hanskin's been hanging around this area for uh, quite some time. It makes you wonder, why did he TP? If he TP'd because he knew the Tiny was there, we've talked about how dangerous and he's going to try for it, but he got a little bit Dude, too you far away from the him. tower. And now he's going to get caught by the Chronosphere. Fada, he's looping around that Chronosphere to make sure he gets a Frostbite immediately afterwards, ensuring a chain stun that will lead to Resolution's death. You got to teach him a lesson trying that play in your yeah. face, right? That, that <laughs> deserves a Chrono. And uh, that does mean the Chrono won't be back up for the Outpost, at the very least. So if they want to try and go for a play. Oh, toss into the uh, Ancient stack there, Solo. Oh, they do get the slam there. Solo taking so much damage now, but the Glimpse back over into save and Epileptic's kid's hands. Not able to finish off the Disruptor. Wow. True, true. I'm surprised he can even pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Planting a tree that just seems so antithetical to his character. Fada ends up getting caught in the mid lane as they've been continuing to try and put that pressure on the mid lane. They want to really want to finish off the tower, but Nico, baby, he gets a little bit too far forward here, and they do have the, uh, the ultimate ready to go from Resolution. He's finally going to throw it down. He just wanted to get a little bit of extra damage before securing the kill. It's actually Save who secures it from long distance. The outposts here. Oh, looks like they're going to get both if Rezo can finish up here. He's going to commit his life for it. Slow down. No, he can't really TP away. 33's life here. <laughs> they're they going to try and make a big team fight out of this? I kind of hope not. 33's going to try and escape through the trees. Actually gets brought back by the Glimpse, breaking the lasso. Doesn't really seem to matter that much as the damage over time is going to overwhelm. 33 eventually hears that just a little bit more is going to be able to find the kill. But now stunned up by the Avalanche, caught with the toss. And Hanskin does manage to get the turnaround here. Solo's also going to die as Limp showing up. And sure enough, Alliance gets its way in. But he may regret that if uh, Virtus Pro ends up going on him. They do have the sentry laid out. They're going to be able to catch Hanskin to toss back into the Chronosphere. There is a Slark way up there in the air. Might be able to get the kill, but the Shadow Dance actually goes off first. Thanks in part to the Primal Roar from Resolution. That toss into Chronosphere combination wasn't good enough. And now Epileptic Kid almost healed up to full. They're still trying to chase him down. Doesn't have a pounce for another five seconds. No time dilation from Nico, baby, which would be a good way to limit the Slark oh, here. So but as a result, the Slark is going to be able to leap away into the trees, right into the corner. TP's out. Fada does manage to get the kill onto Solo, but it's only the fine position that dies from Virtus Pro. Another core to go jungle or something. But he's able to not only get that, but then make some plays afterwards. Oh, and another big play. As the approach, nice force out. Gets a little bit of distance, but right into the hands of Resolution Limp. Very dead. Uh, finish up his... Uh, is Desolator, so he's got that classic TA big power spike of Blink Deso. And that this is the vision of the panel we're talking about. Like, Blink Deso TA with all this vision is terrifying to play against. Um, even a core hero like Limp will be in trouble. Save. He's going to try and approach with the Firefly. Will be able to catch Fauna pretty easily. And now, maybe, well, the Chronosphere is actually going straight for the Templar Assassin. Didn't get save in it. There's nothing to be able to burn through the Refraction. So, so Nico, baby, did no damage whatsoever. The Avalanche and the Toss bring save low, but he's going to stick around with the Sticky Napalm to make sure Hanskin can't get away, nor can maybe Nico, baby. A Force Staff actually breaking the Pounce, so he will be able to get out. Over to 33, who's being able to create some time. Does manage to get the long jump away. TP out. No one's going to have a hard time eating through that armor. A little bit of damage going on to 33, but I'm not sure how much they really want to overcommit for a Timber Saw. They can go for the fast kill on Fada here as he quickly gets ripped apart right by the river. Virtus Pro and the Boars here. They, they're not going to make it for this 20-minute outpost, though. The Hawk is going to be able to spot things quickly. The Hawk is killed. The Avalanche is going to go out. The toss back on to Resolution. They're going to try and quickly execute him, but he does manage to get the Primal Roar. Epileptic Kid will collect the kill, but now he's caught inside the Chronosphere. A glimpse away! There goes Nico, baby! <laughs> See you later, buddy! And the Epileptic Kid's going to be quite healthy and happy here as they're going to fight for this outpost. Trying to go for Fauna. BKB activated, ripping him apart bit piece by piece, but it's first going to be Resolution who dies. Nico, baby, finally back into the fight. They know no one's here, 
but they can't actually see him because they don't have any vision. Save's gonna die to 33, pulls back the Chakram to execute him. No one. Oh, he... Activating into Refraction, yeah. reactivating Meld, then getting the Blink away. Slow down just a tad, but no one should be... Well, maybe not actually combo the Avalanche. Now they do have the Dust. They are going to be able to get that kill, even though they got a Chronosphere. Doing this while Chronosphere is still down. Alliance, they're probably feeling fortunate enough that they managed to take that fight the way they did last time. Ooh, Limp actually gets pulled back into a dangerous situation here. A four staff, but Save is still going to be able to capture him as well as Resolution with the Primal Roar. So not just a Roche in here, but it was actually a movement in mass oh. by Virtus Pro. No a nice Yule Scepter to be able to create a little bit of time here for Fada. <laughs> He's actually going to activate the Freezing Field for the armor, but uh, it's not going to last long enough. And a Desolator, it's always easy to take towers. So, okay. Oh, nice uh, blink. Avalanche toss, but no one with this blink over puts them in a weird position. Resolution is the only one chronosphered right now. The Static Storm goes out, but it looks like our Beastmaster is going to be dying before he can get anything off. But the Silence is lasting so long, the toss up in the air, but doesn't actually save the face's void. Nico Baby's now down, and Epileptic Kid as well as no one can take their time denying Solo and getting the Tier 2 Tower kill. But they actually got to retreat here. 33, they're feeling like a little bit too low, and no one may be too low as he gets caught by the Sentry, turns around. He's helped by the Lasso here, but Limp is eventually going to be able to take away that Aegis. Alliance do not want to overcommit for these kills, however. They take away that Aegis and quickly retreat. A lot of nuisances. And, uh, oh, uh, Limp. Oh, that kind of no man's land here. Needs a big save from Hanskin. They really need some allies to play with Limp a little bit more. Fortunately, Hanskin is there Dude, with the toss pod. save, but he has to give up his life to be able to pull Limp out of here. And it looks like Fada's going to get caught as well because your matchup gets Virtus Pro with the Freezing Field. It's nice. Static Storm's going to silence that one. And does <laughs> dig. He leaves the healing self on the ground for Virtus Pro to take HP regen. So it's actually way better for Timbersaw than it used to be. They're yeah. going to be able to grab Ooh. said Timbersaw and pull him down into low ground where Resolution's going to follow up with the Primal Roar. Yes, but now Solo, they actually just extended way too much there. Static Storm being thrown down. Solo is still going to try and take this fight. Spada actually fights back against Virtus Pro with his Freezing Field. Epileptic Kid is forced to retreat Jeez. with his Aghanim Scepter Pounce, but he's going to go back in with last remnant of his BKB. See if he can finish off that Crystal Main while Nico Baby being kited oh, around by these damn boars. Hanskin going back in onto this Lark, but he pounced away just at the right time there. And so you can understand the double defensiveness required. Does mean their damage is still a little bit low. Nice the use there. 33 got glimpsed back, but he managed to throw out the timber chain just between he, uh, the point where he got sent back yeah. and after it uh, reaches the tree. So 33 is going to be able to find Solo here. Easy kill, save, flying away through the trees should be fine. The Hawk as well as the Batrider kind of kills some of that advantage as they can so easily pull somebody out of position. And the Glimpse is just going to do that with Hanskin. Four Staff over to the side. The Chronosphere, oh no, it only caught Solo. And he's going to get Primal Roar. Is Solo even going to die in this? In fact, it's Nico Baby who might die. Fortunately, gets off the BKB. Does manage to get his time walk away, but still being chased out by no one. Finds the Lasso. Ensures the kill. Immediately buys back, though. They got an ultimate out from Limp. They need to be able to win this fight. They need to, to fight these heroes. Virtus Pro, chase them down. Say it's going to be the up next, but it's only the two supports. They need to find more. An epileptic kid took some time to farm. It's going to be found. Yule Scepter. Do they have any stun to follow it up, though? Quickly gets off a Shatter Dance. Avalanche stalling him up a little bit. No one lays out some damage. Heaven Halber going out. They're going to try and go for no one here. He silenced as well as no refraction. Chakram on top of him. Can they finish him off? They should be able to, but he's actually got insane. He goes in, phase it down. Nico Baby by die. Time walks over the side. 33 finishes him off. Now the buyback coming up for the two cores. This could be the big engagement that swings oh. the game as 33 is going to be left behind. The rest of the lines, they say buybacks are here. Here, let's get out, leave whoever's left behind, and it's going to be poor old 33. Left to the Yule Scepter, trying to get some distance, anything, but I he mean, has no mana. Let him go. Alliance, fantastic buybacks. That's such a dangerous thing to do when you're a faceless void who already used a chrono. Your Crystal yeah. Maiden tried to ult at the last second, but they played the hell out of that Poison Nova because they know it's still ticking on that Slark, still ticking on that TA. Oh, so they we'll pick off fight. like this on a solo would be magnificent, but he's rather tanky. Not that tanky to five heroes, though, as two buyback from Alliance. Alliance, the problem with these buyback trade-offs is... Down. Virtus oh, Pro, I don't think they're going to let this happen so easily. They're going to poke and prod a little bit with the Axis Hotskin. Managed to get the toss back, though, onto Resolution. Resolution stuck. He may not even get off the Primal Roar. He gets it up last second. A on the Nico, baby. No one's going to try and drop it down. Oh. He does. Epileptic Kid. And no one finished off. And now they're going to try and take on the Roshan. But maybe not. They're going to back up. Let him do a little bit more damage. Alliance has to come in here. They will be able to pick up the Agents and Cheese. Can they get out? Grab the Cheese. 33 picks it up. 
Timber chains a little bit to the side. They need to retreat together, though, because no one in Epileptic Kid, they're certainly looking for kills right now with that Aghanim's Pounce. Epileptic Kid could chase somebody down, but two different disjoints. They're going to be able to get away from those two pounces, but it looks like Hanskin, he's definitely dead. Epileptic Kid looks for another one, but again, the pounce is so hard to land. Another successful TP, so it's only Hanskin who dies here. I'm a war. Yeah. Also means that you don't lose Whoa. Nico Baby there, but a good pickoff. They managed to get the lasso, pull back into the Static Storm. Liv does get out of his good poison Nova, but with the pipe and such, it's de delayed damage at this point. Hanskin, he's going to have to come into the sun with that freezing field to toss back over the side, but unfortunately that's going to be a Venomancer dead twice. Solo may tick out here as 33 tries to hunt him down with a Chakra. Oh, the glimmer. Misses. A tree, a tree time also misses, but eventually Solo uh, does die from Limp's poison. P heroes, they're not gonna have buyback, and then... Oh, Hanskin, he's got the four staff. He does, but there's also that Agon Scepter on Epileptic Kid, so he needs to find a way to be able to deal with that second pounce, and he won't be able to, especially with the glimpse. They were waiting for the Venomancer to come up, but now a tiny dead for 100 seconds, Alliance. To happen now, post is gonna be up. Rating two managed to get it, but at the same time, the initiation into the back line. There is Nico Baby already dead. He's gonna have to buy back a TV onto the outpost. Hanskin getting some damage in. They're getting on top of Solo as best they can. Looks like a five position is definitely dead, but a trade off for VP is well in their favor. Five seconds until there, there. Okay, I was about to say he's about to have his buyback, so he's gonna go for oh, it. And he goes. Rotron is at half health, and Epileptic Kid has already jumped in and used his Shadow Dance. 33, he has the Flicker as well as the Shivas on top of Lotus Orb and Heaven's Halberd. He's got plenty of options to be able to disengage. So that's why he puts himself so far oh, forward in the front line. But Nico, baby, he didn't get over there to the other side of the cliff, but he does manage to lock down Disruptor. It's so important to be able to oh, get the skeleton down to Static Storm anyway. No, he's dead. Elias, they're going to have to win this fight without him. Fada right in the middle of the freezing field. Can he win it for his team? So much AoE damage. 33 is taking a lot of damage, though, and he has to be able to timber chain out of here. Fada did so much. It's enough to be able to kill Resolution with a pullback of the Chakra. But 33 has now been locked down with no mana. Epileptic Kid will make short work of him while Sage chases down Hanskin. Resolution, where's the stun? There is none. Not a refresher shard, that Resolution. He's going to hold in his inventory right now, so look for double Primal Roars, potentially, especially with Lasso pick up on Hanskin. Epileptic Kid has already stolen so many stats. He's currently sitting in an extra 96 agility temporary and an extra 19 permanent. It's going to be rough. This could be the entire base going down before the Faceless Void is up in 30 seconds. Alliance need to just try and poke and prod and slow them down and perhaps gonna kill on a resolution who does have the Aegis. Don't overcommit for this one. They're actually gonna pop out the Venomancer ultimate and he gets Primal Roar, but a save actually coming out from Fada who has an E-Blade. So Limp will be able to get some Force Staffs away. Epileptic Kid unable to lock him down. He's running low on mana, so he's actually gonna BKB and pounce out. Nico Baby up in eight seconds. Alliance did hold very nicely. Oh, look at that Epileptic Kid. Diving in to be able to pick up his Abyssal Blade almost into Alliance, and now he will gladly go into Alliance's Hanskin. Does actually get the toss up in the air on Epileptic Kid himself with the Timber Saw, putting himself in the front lines, but Epileptic Kid is doing the same, trying to finish off the Hanskin here. The Chronosphere going out, controlling so many heroes, yes, but also some of his allies. He's trying to finish off Epileptic Kid, but he got oh, the Shadow Dance, and now Nico Baby. Oh, that freezing field, it actually just ripped apart the Templar Assassin. They've got to get out. Vernus Pro had to reset slightly, but Resolution does find the opportunity to be able to lock down the Faces Void. Load his sword, bounce back the lasso, but it doesn't matter. He's dead for 100 seconds. Epileptic Kid trying to get away from 33 into the trees. He goes and he'll start regening up. This is how you need to play this Slark game because he knows the fight is secured. He just needs to make sure he doesn't die. Comes back in for the Hanskin kill, which is slowed down by the Seeking Napalm. He will eventually fall as well. Three dead with no buyback on the side of Alliance. And this is where the VP chokehold will finally come to a conclusion. VP should just be able to force Alliance to tap out here as 33 is just going for desperate maneuvers here to push out mid, somehow draw their attention away from the base for a hey, full he minute. Got the creeps. And they will, uh, he will find their attention, that's for sure. Actually gets glimpsed back after the Tamper Chain. Rapidly losing mana, needs to be able to get that flicker. Does manage to get it, he also has the Yule Scepter here. Oh, but he gets bashed up, and he may find his mana burned out before he can do anything, sadly. That's two minutes for him. Well, and it's not nearly enough time for Nico Baby to come back as the tips come flowing in. A Verdis Pro. It the was panel a hard part victory. It. I think we got it. We certainly did. It's, they're just going to finish it off in style. Alliance will sit here to the final man before they call the GG. But that's it. We're going to a game three. Versus Pro. I have to say, I thought uh, we didn't get to talk about him too much, I feel like, during this game. But I thought Save played an amazing game on that battle.